Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we'll be having a look through various states in America, a bit of Mexico, the TV series Extrapolations, Taiwan and the Desert Research Institute, DRI. From the Axios website, the new series Extrapolations is a climate change cautionary tale. If you haven't seen it and you're planning on watching it, I won't give you any spoilers. Highlight from the article where they mention there is a frighteningly realistic rogue geoengineering. That might get some of your attention and you might think, oh yeah, I have to watch this. It is worth a watch, but it's not going to be what you expect on the subject of geoengineering, such as seeing sprayed out skies or something. And in episode six, there's a good comment, but that's as far as it goes so far. Haven't seen episode seven and eight yet, but hey, go and have a watch. See what you think. I'm sure it will scare a few of the youth out there that watch it back in the real world. From the University of Connecticut magazine, the Yukon magazine, cloud seeding, or weather modification. So Jana Greenow, zero one class, probably a call sign, makes it rain, literally last fall or last autumn Jana tried to make it rain over Saudi Arabia by spraying a salt mixture into thunderstorm clouds from flares attached to her small plane so that's what jana has been up to Jana typically flies over her home state of Idaho triggering mountain snow that will melt and bring water to that desert like region it's mainly done by the Idaho power company snowpack runoff so there you have your more Idaho confirmation of the weather modification going on there continuing in the article it says most of her work these days involves cloud seeding so weather modification so the work she did in Saudi Arabia the Saudis announced in August 2021 they're going to begin cloud seeding so that's fall 2021 Jana was there in fall 2022 and in fall 2021 this, this was the first of three phases that were going to be carried out over five years up to 2026 then August 2022 Saudis enjoy rain in cool highlands as desert temperatures soar and there you can see from that article the National Center of Meteorology began the second phase of its cloud seeding program in the southwestern regions of Saudi Arabia earlier this week. Kansas. For those of you looking for lawgasms from the 2021-2022 legislative sessions part of a 2021 statute is about weather modification and that regulates licenses for weather modification activities, issuance and limitations, permits for weather modification projects, studies, hearings and investigations, research and development programs, expenditure of funds, representation of state in weather modification matters. So if you want to view Kansas's weather modification legislation, there you go, it exists. Nevada's Desert Research Institute. In the features and articles section, there's a feature story, what we used to call an advertisement. It's written by Desert Research Institute, DRI, making it snow. And now they say this rain and snow inducing technique called cloud seeding has been around for more than 60 years. So if the weather's being modified for more than 60 years around the place, here and there, across the world, as we know, what accumulative consequences have there been from that? I wonder. So why are DRI doing weather modification in Nevada? It's to increase the mountain snowpacks, including in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Those of you who have been watching or following what's going on in the Sierra Nevadas with their snow levels this winter that's just passed will probably be thinking the same as everyone else. They're modifying the weather to increase the mountain snowpack. The Sierra Nevadas are under it, literally. At the end there, DRI runs additional cloud seeding efforts in Colorado. So they're also modifying the weather in Colorado. But we know that because Colorado has been modifying its weather for over 50 years. 
there is a fact check section at the end of their advertisement sorry i mean feature story who is funding cloud seeding programs cloud seeding programs occur worldwide in the western u.s state and agency supported efforts occur across california nevada colorado new mexico wyoming kansas oklahoma texas north dakota utah and idaho and another one of the fact check comments which is a little bit surprising to see really is cloud seeding used for military purposes following the use of weather modification by the u.s military during the vietnam war in 1977 blah 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 we know about that north dakota so there's an interesting article out there bill looking to change cloud seeding operations in north dakota voted down by senate a bill that would have made changes to cloud seeding operations in north dakota was killed in the senate this week house bill 1166 would have required seeding to stop when the core of a, of a storm crosses into a county that doesn't participate in seeding and required a county election to extend the program so in other words there was a bill trying to be passed that would restrict the weather modification that was going on by certain counties in the state it also would have prohibited state funds from being used for the program currently counties cover two-thirds of, of the funding with the rest being given by the state i'm pretty sure the state gets its money from the public as taxes currently five counties participate in weather modification williams mckenzie montreal bowman and slope the bill was introduced by the republican from minot county who said residents in ward county voted to terminate the program in 2020 which they did the Republican representative from Williston called the bill an attempt by Ward County to eliminate the program for everyone else. Well done Ward County, keep at it. You get that program eliminated. America needs to stop all of its weather modification. And then we can have a look at what state the climate's in a few years after that. Eh? Over to Taiwan. It's quite enough of America for now, isn't it? Taiwan tries cloud seeding to fight drought authorities have begun cloud seeding over several of taiwan's northern reservoirs in order to increase rainfall active weather modification still in taiwan in the scientific american climate engineering geoengineering is not a quick fix for the climate crisis new analysis shows good news a new study debunks the idea that solar geoengineering is a temporary measure to reduce warming and meet climate targets. Touched on this info recently from the Jakarta Post how two weather balloons led Mexico to ban solar geoengineering. The person doing it got into trouble because Mexico said the launch violated its national sovereignty. The Mexican government told Reuters it is now effectively drafting new regulations and standards to prohibit solar geoengineering inside the country. Mexico also plans to rally other countries to ban the climate strategy, a senior government official told Reuters. On the other hand, also covered before, just to remind people that why Mexico is calling for that ban and formulating legislation to ban spraying the skies out, climate engineering, they announced a month ago a weather modification plan to combat drought. In the middle paragraph there, he explains the plane normally works in northern Mexico, but it could be brought to Mexico City to tackle the capital's current water crisis. So keep that in mind when you see information about Mexico and how cool it is that they're banning solar geoengineering. They have active weather modification programs. So that was a quick roundup of some more news. Take care. See you next time.